one. Hi guys, Bellum here, and this is Oreo. I don't know if you can see him. Say hi. Say hi. And we are going to show you how to use ozoblockly.com on your Chromebook, which is pretty cool. You can do it on your phone or a tablet or a MacBook, whatever you want. It just needs to be able to lay flat when you're done doing your program so that your Ozobot can drive, drive on your design that you make. So I'm going to go ahead and click Get Started. And it's just ozoblockly.com, O-Z-O, and then Blockly. And it's going to take you to the editor, which looks very similar to other coding programs. And it's got different levels, so you can decide how complex you want your program to be. And then we have the uh, Ozobot, Ozobot 2.0, so they are compatible with this program. All right, so I've got movement, light effects, timing, and loops. And I'm going to do an intermediate so you can see this gave me even more. Now it has logic, so you could do if then, advanced, adds light effects, a terminate option, math variables and functions. So you could go pretty crazy with the Ozoblockly program. And the nice thing is we have two Ozobots. So depending on when you finish your program, you can plop the Ozobot on your screen and test it out. So I'm going to just try here a very a novice one. It's just got movement, light effects, and weight. So I'm going to click on movement, and it's going to give me some choices. What direction do you want it to go? Do you want it to zigzag or loop? And I can plop that onto my board here. And then this zigzag doesn't give you the choice of how long it's going to play. So um, you can just add something else. Now I'm in light effects. Stoplight looks pretty cool. I'll put that one in. And then I'll put in a wait. And I'm going to tell it to wait two seconds. And you can see these are all clipping together. That's what you want. This time I'm going to try doing a 90 degree turn. And then after it's done a 90 degree turn, I'm going to have it move to the right for five seconds. Then I could do another light effect. We'll try out this Christmas tree. Sad Christmas is over. And then I'll do another wait for two seconds. So now that I am done with my program, I should be able to save it. So I can save it here. All right, so my program is now saved to my computer, and then I want to load it. So now this is the part where we're going to want to put the Ozobot right onto your screen. So you're probably not going to be able to see anything but my ceiling, so just hold tight. My computer is now flat, and I want to press the Ozobot onto the screen, which I have to turn it on first, so I'm going to do that. And now I am putting him on my computer. Go on, load. Okay, so now he's sitting on there and I'm going to press load bit. And it is now loading my program. I'm going to try turning him on, I think, because right now you can see he's blue. I'm going to try turning him on there. And then on the screen you can see it's tracking how far it has loaded the program. And I am holding him in place. Once it flickers green, that's going to tell you that the program is done loading. And I'm literally just doing this on my Chromebook. I know you can't see me, but I have my Chromebook completely flat. There you go. Now double press the power button to run the program. So I'm going to tip the computer and see if you can see this now. We'll see how much of this we can see. Let's see. You're probably pointed about right here. And my program is running or trying to. I'll put it on the hardwood instead. And there my program is running. 
And again, I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it is going. So this is another option for you if you would like to code a moving robot that's fairly simple to do. Have fun. Oh, and Oreo says goodbye. Say bye-bye.